Hey everybody, Wave 3 News Meteorologist Ryan Hoke here with another edition of the Hoke Video Blog on a very snowy Sunday morning. Man, this snow forecast turned out pretty much like we thought it would. The only little fly in the ointment was how fast it got cold, and that led to some problems on the roadways. Temperatures dropped so quickly that even I-65 in southern Indiana got covered over by snow. Here's the rundown as we go throughout today. We've got the snow ending, a few snow showers possible as we go throughout the early afternoon, but overall, it's not going to be a big deal. You'll need to watch for slick roads, folks. I mean, we are talking about temperatures dropping so fast that any water left over on the roads is freezing into ice, especially on the bridges and overpasses. So please be advised that travel may not be the safest today, but at least here in the center of Metro Louisville, things have improved somewhat. Uh, temperatures, of course, falling as we go throughout the remainder of the day. And by Monday morning, we're looking at wind chills between 0 and 5 degrees above. If you're taking the kids to the bus stop, they need hats, they need gloves, they need heavy coats. If they've got long johns, they'll need those too. Because this is going to be some of the coldest weather we've seen in quite some time. Another system is lurking. Tuesday morning's commute could also be snarled by snow. And this one may be a little worse in some places, not because of the snow accumulation totals, but because of the preceding road pavement temperatures before it starts snowing will be colder. Unlike this morning where we had to play catch up, we may not have to do that on Tuesday, so it could accumulate more readily. Outside this morning, nice little snow there. From our Kentucky One Health SkyTrack camera at Churchill Downs, we officially received our first measurable snow of the season here at Louisville at the airport. It was a one-inch accumulation, but we've had accumulations here in the city up to two inches. So that one to two inch snow forecast we had, nailed it. All right, 16 degrees now in Tell City and Bedford 20. You'll see the warmer temperatures to the east. Basically, we are still pulling in this cool air behind this system. So the 18 we see in Jasper will be here in Louisville before we know it here as we go throughout the afternoon. If we see a little sunshine, we may spike in temperature just a few degrees, but it's not going to be all that much. We will still easily be in the 20s. A couple of snow showers still off to our east, but really we're not seeing a whole lot around here at this time. What I am going to do here is turn up the radar sensitivity a little bit so we can see if there are any sort of snow showers out there to our west. And aha, look at this. You can see that we have added some snow showers to the mix across portions of Crawford County into uh, Harrison County, even into Perry County. So we may see just a few of these as we go throughout the afternoon. They will be light, though, and the cold air coming in on the backside is certainly going to be a feature of the day part forecast as well. Snow's off in Cincinnati now, so the main batch of it is gone today, thank goodness. You'll see those few snow showers on the uh, pavement temperature uh, map here as well, but look at what happened with these pavement temperatures. I mean, we were expecting them to be somewhere around 33, 34 through most of this event, but we tanked. I mean, we tanked so much, so quickly, that yeah, it did accumulate on the interstate roadways. There's 25 degrees out on I-64 in Bird's Eye, 28 degrees on US-50 at the I-65 interchange in Seymour, Indiana. We sent live drive up I-65 towards Seymour and Scottsburg, and man, it was a mess. It looks like uh, they've been able to clear out some of the ramps and some of the roadways up there because uh, it was pretty bad earlier. Uh, they had a completely snow-covered roadway. Our photographer had to drive in the middle of the road because... There were no lines, and that was the problem uh, with that. We had no idea <laughs> where to go, basically, on the road to stay in your lane. So that was the problem. But on the Kentucky side of the river, the forecast held pretty true, and uh, the road temperatures are still in the 30s at this hour. Just a mess in southern Indiana, though. My goodness. You'll see a few traffic problems, though, um, as we go throughout uh, 71 and 64. That's likely just slow travel. It's probably not a traffic delay. It's probably just people are traveling slow because there's a little bit of slush on the roadways there. Here's our uh, latest snow reports that we've gotten from social media and, of course, from our uh, official um uh, snow reports too here in Metro Louisville and other areas as well. Just looking up at the screen here, and uh, we've got about a third of an inch, uh, about two miles south of Vine Grove and Hardin County. That report literally just coming in on our screen here, so I wanted to add that to the list. But you'll see Bedford at uh, four inches, Paoli, they had a snowboard set up in Paoli, so they were able to get it down to the hundredth of an inch, 2.75 inches. Isn't that cool? 
Uh, so Bedford, yeah, you guys were the big winners as we thought. That's why we went two to four inches, hit four inches on the nose. Uh, this is a very well forecast system. Uh, even though we had some some problems in the mix as we went throughout yesterday with a lot of data going all over the place, going nuts, uh, we stayed with the RPM model as our main model of choice for our snow forecast and, and made some small adjustments and turned out pretty well. I think we uh, we, we did what we should have there. Uh, on Futurecast, 26 degrees by 5 o'clock. That's what it has here in Louisville. I think it'll be colder than that. A couple of snow showers here and there. Otherwise, we're in the teens overnight. Yeah, it's going to be cold one, a uh, cold one out there, I should say. And uh, Futurecast wind chills get us down to the single digits by Monday morning. Yes, we were talking about how you should dress up the kiddos just right, and you should. All right, so road impacts. This morning, obviously, Red, they were snow-covered roads uh, in many areas outside the very center of Metro Louisville here and to our north. Uh, but this afternoon, a few slick spots. Watch for those icy overpasses and bridges. I'll say it again because you're going to run into one or two of them if you're outside the city for sure. Tuesday, all red lights. That's not good. We got that other system coming in here. So we'll talk about that here in a second. I want to talk about temperatures, though, behind that system. We only get up to 32 or 33 on Tuesday. Then we drop back into the teens again Wednesday morning. I believe Wednesday morning will be even colder than Monday morning. We are still in this pattern, this map I made a few days ago. It still is valid because we're just going to have this uh, eastern trough kind of digging in here for a while. We're going to have to watch these southern stream systems by next weekend. Uh, there may be something to that when it comes to a heavier sort of snow situation. Still not clear. we got to get through this system, at least the rest of it, in the cold air today, and the system on Tuesday. we got to let the models sample where all the snow is, where all the cold air is, and then we can begin to make a better assessment for the weekend. We're starting to get our act together, though, for the Tuesday system for sure, though. Let's show you that. That's This is the uh, North American Mesoscale model. You see that that clipper moves in. We get snow along and north of I-64 for the most part here. Preceding temperatures below freezing, pavement temperatures below freezing. We're bad on all counts for the Tuesday morning commute. This does not look good. All right, so you'll want to tune into Sunrise on Tuesday morning. And, of course, Wave 3 News tonight at uh, 6 and 11. Brian Good's going to be in here. He'll start looking at the latest uh, data for this on snow accumulations. I think it will be somewhere in the range of an inch for a lot of us for this one. So maybe not as heavy snowfall total-wise as what we have just had. But uh, with the preceding temperatures the way they will be, that uh, does give us pause for concern. All right, so that's what we're watching there. Uh, by Wednesday, we're in the upper 20s. Uh, there's that 14-degree low Wednesday morning. You'll see on Friday and Saturday, uh, man, this is a low forecast confidence level here um, as we head to the weekend. Uh, I've gone colder than guidance. Uh, the model data that we look at for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, it had us basically in the mid to upper 40s. In a lot of spots, uh, I've kept us in the low to mid 40s. I just don't think we'll see a surge of warm air quite as strong as what it is showing because it's not picking up on the snow on the ground yet, the cold air in place. Uh, we'll see how much that gets eroded. I do think we may start as a little rain on this system on Saturday. But look at the earliest alert outlook. I've taken us back into the 30s with straight up snow by Sunday. This is that 17th system. We've been talking about this for the better part of a week or two now. How the 16th, the 17th might be a rocky period for us. And we may get more snow for you snow lovers. That looks like that may be the case. We are not going to say with any certainty though if this is going to be all snow yet we'll keep you updated regardless another shot of cold air reinforces that trough you saw on the map we're in the 20s the 18th through the 20th we moderate at least try to somewhat in the long range gfs model 21st through the 23rd but that's nebulous at this point uh i think it's a little too far out to tell with certainty all right that's it our first accumulating snow of the season here in louisville we've gotten through it now on to bigger and, well, more snow things. We'll see. Brian Good is in with you this evening, and I will see you next weekend. Bots!